Oh my God. You sure you want some socks on your feet? I'm uh, Edwin D. Driver. Came to Amherst in 1948 and began teaching at the University of Massachusetts as an instructor in sociology. I was the first person, not of European descent, to ever be employed in any capacity at the university. I had to look for housing. I uh, couldn't get any in Amherst. And my wife and I ended up at the Admiral Inn in Northampton. And we were lucky to even get a room there. We got the house because the people living in it, Glenn Tinder was a landlord, was going to UMass Boston and had just opened a new campus. So the house became available. And uh, he ignored the covenants and just sold directly to us. Reparations for Amherst is an effort to repair the harm that was inflicted upon people of African descent uh, through racial discrimination and slavery here in our community. We uh, were able to get the town of Amherst to, one, acknowledge the structural racism that has occurred, and then to commit to a path of remedy. If the reparations could make up the lost salary <laughs> that, I, that, I, you know, that I didn't get at the university because of my colleagues, not giving the merit increases annually to me as they gave to others. I ended up being the lowest paid professor in the department with the most productive. So if they can make that up, I would appreciate it. I would enjoy it and celebrate it. But I don't think that's going to ever happen. I believe that reparations is not a one-shot deal. It doesn't just happen one time. That it, that it needs to take place in various segments and sections. 